Since preeminent retailers, assorting scenes like these are growing more common around the country. Target saying they lost an estimated $763 million in lost and stolen inventory last fiscal year and that they expect crime-fueled inventory losses to jump by another $500 million this year. The company's CEO spelling out the struggle on an earnings call this week. Theft. And organized retail crime. So I want to come on ahead of time. I've already recorded this story. I want to warn or just let you know some things that I'm talking about in this video may be more than what most want to talk about, but this is what is happening out here. So I, you know, I'm trying to walk on eggshells while I'm talking about it, but feel free to leave comments down below as long as you're respectful of other people's opinions and thoughts and i don't have to delete your comments or youtube don't block your comments because they will for certain words so be mindful of that when you are commenting if you decide to um in this video i'm talking about and i'm showing you clips of some things in here that are happening at target stores they're being boycotted right now because of the things that they have done they are losing billions of dollars and by the way if you didn't know target is closing hundreds of stores so let's talk about it the rest of the video i'll be in my other office Hey y'all, hey, what's up fam? Welcome back to Tommy Bites TV. Y'all, so much is happening right now. I literally had to run out here to my second office. I don't know what the title is. I don't know what you're seeing at this moment because I haven't put the title to my thoughts. But Target has a lot going on. So today I knew that I was going to be doing a video on Target, but it was going to be more in reference to Target closing um, many of their stores. Before we get deep into it, y'all, please give this video a thumbs up. Share the video out and that will help the channel. That will help the video get out to more people. More people will know what's going on because it is a lot happening with Target. Target right now, honey. So Target, just like Walmart, is closing a lot of their stores. I told you guys in plenty of videos that Walmart CEO Doug McMillan said that if the high crime did not cease, if they didn't get that under control, they would be shutting down hundreds of stores. And they kept true to their promise and they are closing hundreds of stores. They have closed so many stores right now when it first started it wasn't about the high crime it was just about the fact that it was a lot of foot traffic into those stores and not a lot of people were buying some of the same things that they have been buying before because of inflation everybody's kind of sticking to buying food and the necessities you know with clothing but uh entertainment stuff like you know in the tv section and computers and stuff everybody's holding on to their tvs as long as they can except for the people that are trying to walk out of the stores with something they haven't paid for and there's so many videos out there of this crime taking place people being um killed and beaten and everything you could think of under the moon is happening in these stores so please keep your head on the swivel in the process of you doing that um, so Target, it says Target is the latest big box retailer to announce it's closing stores, citing a drop in foot traffic. Now that was in April. That was, this article is in April. Hold on. So that was in April that they said that they um, would be shutting down stores due to foot traffic. But just recently, as of Monday, this week the ceo of target is now saying they're closing even more stores not just because of foot traffic but due to high crime theft and attacks are are on the rise and there's nothing really they can do about it because uh these states and they're not prosecuting anything over a certain or under a certain dollar amount. So people know that. So they go in and they assault the workers. 
they take items that they didn't pay for because they feel they're not going to be prosecuted and in most cases they are not um so it says citing a drop in the foot traffic is why they said in april that target would be closing four locations in maryland virginia minnesota pennsylvania the stores are the smaller format target stores so about 10 years ago target started rolling out these smaller stores and sticking them in urban areas and i guess they didn't really pay attention to what really was happening with walmart when it came to them doing smaller stores like the marketplaces and stuff like that well a lot more happens in those smaller stores um so the decision to close one of the one of the stores isn't something that they take lightly you know they all say that but it's an action we take only after multiple years of working to improve performance so most employees will receive job offers at other nearby targets and others won't um y'all know that bed bath and beyond and all those other places are closing and bed bath and beyond file bankruptcy and all that other stuff so uh the target stores closing in the u.s in 2023 so far I'm going to put so far because this was from April, just last month. So it's still relevant, but there will be more stores closing. And the minute I get that list of the new stores that will be closing, I will definitely let you know. So, um, and it may be in that other article that I'm about to bring to you. So it says 7501 Baltimore Avenue. <laughs> That's in College Park, Maryland, 1300 Westlake Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota. 1128 Chestnut Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 500 South Washington Street in Falls Church, Virginia. So Target is not the only big box store that will be closing. Of course, Walmart recently announced that they will be closing a handful of stores as well. It's happening in real time. Not that those stores aren't because they are. I didn't even know about this story until my son came in. I told y'all that he likes to stay aware of a lot of things. He tells me about a lot of things that are happening that I just don't see because I'm doing so much. Um, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in because you could have been anywhere else. I want to thank you for subscribing to this channel, Tommy Bites TV, where I'm doing news you can use. I also have um homesteading farming stuff in here as well as cooking and etc but on my second channel i thank y'all i see the numbers y'all have been subscribing to the second channel as well and i appreciate that so my son brought this to me a few minutes ago because i was originally just going to be talking about the stores that are going to be closing and not this so this subject may be you know a little touchy for some people i don't really touch on things like this but because it's in a business that is happening and people are not liking this i'm going to bring it to you so basically what is happening is when he said well target decided to go with a designer and selling merch in their store and the merch they're selling is um lgbtq plus clothing i was like okay well they're not the only ones doing that he was like they're selling it in the children's section so there's a big uproar now these are in quotations i guess they have this written on the clothing it says tuck friendly this designer's name is a london-based company that designs the cells uh occult and sent and satanic theme i think that is the main thing they went with a designer who sells satanic devil worshiping items um and they also sell lgbtq items clothing and accessories now they have these things in the children's section they're selling them in the children's section i'm gonna have to go to a target and see record
so I don't see the clothes that they were talking about in this one. I haven't been through the whole store, but I did want to stop over here to this area here to show you. They still have a baby formula shortage. They're not talking about it. They want you to see what they want you to see on the news. And this is not important enough for them, but mothers are still looking for milk. Do you see this? Due to high demand and limited inventory to support all guests, we will be limiting quantities to four. If they didn't have a shortage, that sign would not be up there. In some stores, it's not. In Target, it is. If, well, they probably pulled it if they do have it there. Somebody getting fired. Whoever brought this idea to Target is getting fired, okay? Because Target has lost $9 billion in one week following boycott calls over LGBTQ friendly kids clothing well i can't talk today target has lost nine billion in target market value since angry social media users called for a boycott of the minneapolis-based retailer over its rollout of the pride collection backlash from some customers who were who confronted their workers and tipped over displays honey get this out of here that's what they said um not making fun of it not making fun of it but <laughs> People are strong in their beliefs. They really are. They don't care what you feel. And I know from some things that I, just me wearing a mask got people, you know, you know, let me show you. Let me show you this right here. Took friendly construction. And then over here, it says extra crotch protection or something like that, a coverage. And then... Here is the bathing suit. This Target was also criticized for marketing rainbow colored swimsuits to children. Okay. Don't know if the model is transgender, but this is the bathing suit. So I'm trying to find some video to show you guys. It's preeminent retailers asserting scenes like these are growing more common around the country. Target saying they lost an estimated $763 million in lost and stolen inventory last fiscal year and that they expect crime-fueled inventory losses to jump by another $500 million this year. The company's CEO spelling out the struggle on an earnings call this week. Theft and organized retail crime are increasingly urgent issues impacting the team and our guests and other retailers. The unfortunate fact is, violent incidents are increasing at our stores and across the entire retail industry. Headlines of major stores closing in San Francisco with employee safety considered. And now the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, announcing a comprehensive plan to tackle the 44% uptick in retail theft in his city last year. All to action for you. For you to start um, doing what you can to protect yourself when you're out here shopping because you could it could not be you that's involved in that crime like meaning you're going to be the one attacked you could actually see it and that's tremendous protect yourself because these people don't care these people don't care and I would like to say it's, it's because of the, the, the inflation and some of it is because of that. And some of it is just because people are mean and evil and willing to do whatever to get what they want. Um, as for the LGBTQ community, y'all leave that down in the comments. Let me know what you think about that. Should they be pulling that stuff all the way out or just pushing it to the back of the store? Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this world. We have to pray for our neighbors, for our community, for everyone involved, um, that they will see a better way than to steal and kill and hurt and maim and all that other stuff. So y'all take care. See you in the next video. Please give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, share it out so it can get out to more people that helps YouTube put it in the analytics and push it and say, hey, people need to see this. So help me help you help you however it goes.
love you guys take care i love you but god loves you more he created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are go out and spread god's love peace love and light thanks for being here on tommy mike's tv smooches out